Hello, my dear students. How are you? I hope you all are enjoying. So today I am going to discuss about computer system, chapter one, class eleventh, IP. So let's see what you will learn in this chapter. You will learn in this chapter introductions to computer system, evolution of computer, computer memory, and software. So I'll start this chapter with the good quotes of Alan Turing, as he told that a computer would deserves to be called intelligent if it could deceive a human into believing that it was a human. Means that ki computer us din sabse zyada intelligent mehsoos hoga jab logon ko ye mehsoos ho jaye ki wo bhi ek aadmi jaisa hi hai. So let's Try to understand first thing okay, what is computer system. A computer is an electronic device that can be programmed to accept data, input, process it, generate result, output. Means what? Okay, it is an electronic device. Computer is an electronic device. The first thing you have to remember that okay, computer is an electronic device. What is the meaning of the electronic device here? Electronic means ki that's work with the help of the electric circuit, electric currents and that's having a circuit there. Means that that systems having a board on that there are so many components are there, transistor, resistor, IC. So such types of circuits are there. So that circuit is called electronic circuit. So that's why it is called electronic device that can be programmed that can be programmed program means you can give the instructions with the help of the program program is a collection of instruction and whenever so many programs are get collected it becomes the software so it's a program in that way you can give a instructions to them you can give the instructions to them okay to accept data means your computer is capable to receive some input, receive some data and after receiving it process the data, it process the data and at last it gives the result, it gives the output. So that is called computer, that is called computer system, okay. A computer along with additional hardware means computer along with the additional hardware and software means there is some additional and hardware and software systems that merge together means hardware is the separate component software is the separate components that merge together to form the computer system as i told you through which device you will give the input so definitely you would need a hardware device that is the input device and through which device you will get the output definitely again a hardware device is there that is the output device monitor but how the computer will receive the input store the data in a computer memory and the cpu will start processing according as uh, in a proper way to give the proper result these all things get controlled by the software okay so that is the software a computer system actually a computer system primarily compromise or comprises of a central processing unit memory input output devices and storage devices what is the meaning of this means if you look at the computer systems you can easily say that okay what are the different components of computer system then you come to know okay it's having a cpu that the main processing unit memory unit it's having the memory where the data is stored for the time being for the processing purpose now it's required input output device through that you can give the data to the computer and through that you can receive the result by the computer and one more device is there that is called a storage device that is a permanent storage like your hard disk like your cd like your pen drive so these are the storage device all these components all these components has to work together to make a single unit to deliver the desired output means this all the components either cpu input output system memory and storage they all these all things are work together to form the one unit and why they work together so that they can meet the requirement so that they can give the output at a moment a computer systems comes in the various forms and size 
that you know kids are coming the different size in a form of the smartphone that is the very small in the form of the tab bigger than a smartphone in the form of the laptop it is bigger than a smart tab then desktop like this way then supercomputer then frame mini these all are the different types of the computer so it comes in a different seven size it can vary from a high in server to personal desktop laptop tablet computer or a smartphone means it can be of different size like this Ki it can be of high end server personal desktop a smartphone tablet so these are the devices possible means a big size and a small size like this look at this figure if you look at this figure carefully then you can understand say, this is the block diagram of computer system there are some lines which is showing with the direct line it shows the flow of the data flow of the signals between the components like this i'm going to finish this top today's topic with the, this uh, with the, this concept only so you just try to understand ki what is this block diagram this block diagram actually block diagram is actually telling about the different components of computer system look at this this is the input device and this is the output device okay so these two devices are the outside but whenever you look on this this look at this parts this whole this whole box this whole box from the cpu this is called cpu okay this is called cpu and cpu stands for central processing unit so cpus having the three different units one is called control unit another is called arithmetic and logic unit and next is the primary memory and outside the cpu there is a one more unit that is called storage device that is called storage device getting my point so these are the different units are here now these all units having their own responsibilities whenever you are giving the anything any data any instruction any command through input device this information first moves to the primary memory but how it's moved to the primary memory your control unit is giving the instructions to the input device to transfer this the given data the data given by the user or the instructions given by the user to the primary memory and as well as primary memory also give the same instruction you can easily understand look at this this line is showing that this line is showing that the inter interactions is going in between cpu and memory continuously okay and later on what happened that memory the memory that information is stored the same information is passed to the alu for further processing that is the arithmetic and logical unit processing means some calculations maybe arithmetical maybe logical and again the result is going to store in a primary memory but if the instruction is that to save this information on the permanent storage so now the cp cpu or you can say the control unit is going to interact with the secondary storage it's going to interact with the secondary storage and at last it's give the output if it is required and it is given in the command you know you have to give the output also so it's going on the output device okay so for today this much enough and tomorrow we will discuss something more about this okay so till time check here if you like the video please don't forget to like share it and please if you did not subscribe my channel till now subscribe the channel thank you bye bye take care